Sports, and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Minnesota Vikings and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the punter, Jake Kamart is set to do the honors, and off we go now from Tampa. Kene Nwagu now out of his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Cousins and Cook has it left side and able to use his stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down a pretty good game looking to throw again on second down Cousins a solid stiff arm and he'll be out right at the 35 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Cousins now to throw on first down. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A former Seminole back home in Florida. It's Dalvin Cook. Now, able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. From the 40 now on second down. Cousins. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that will draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Throwing his cousins. He's got his tight end over the middle. T.J. Hawkinson. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. First down, here's the run with Cook. Levante David in on the tackle. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. On second and nine, Cousins. Now he's got it. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll run with Cook. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Vikings are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more.
Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Throwing now is Brady. He completes it to Julio Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. To throw again on second down, Brady. And that's complete, it's Chris Godwin. And this is gonna turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 28. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. 12 more yards there and another first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Brady going to throw. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans from 13 yards out. And the Buccaneers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. The Charles here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. 
And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. It sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Cousins to throw it. This one caught, it's the tight end Hawkinson. Touchdown, Vikings! T.J. Hawkinson, 32 yards. And the Vikings have moved out in front. Joseph now to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 22, here's second and eight. They'll run it again with Fournette. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. Throwing is Brady on third down. And this is caught by Evans. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Brady to Evans that time. First down, Tampa. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Brady now on first down. Oh, he's thinking end zone for Evans. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Brady will try again on second down. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. The timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Following the interception, Cousins. That is caught by Thielen. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. As the